Welcome back to In Business. On the show tonight, we have Scott Kendall, the technology coach. Scott is a tech expert and will help us navigate through the techie side of our discussion. Scott, welcome to the show. Thank Thanks you. very much, David. Thanks for coming in. And tonight is e-commerce is Big Brother watching. Are we just too paranoid in general about this e-privacy thing? I don't think so. Um, there's lots of examples in the press today of security breaches and our personal information being compromised. And I think people have reason to believe that uh, there's a lot of risk uh, still today out there. Scott, how about yourself? Are I, you uh, are you an internet uh, wizard and on there purchasing, banking, everything? I almost do all of my online banking, uh, my banking online. Um, and on top of that, I did uh, probably 90% of my Christmas shopping this year online. Mm -hmm. So I'm very comfortable shopping online. In fact, um, I believe the statistics say that um, twice as many Canadians made purchases online in 2008 as they did in 2007. Right, do you have any concerns yourself about internet banking and or uh, any type of internet purchasing, e-commerce? I, I do, but no more concerns than I do making purchases in a store with a, a plastic card, whether that's credit or, or debit card. Um, I think it's uh, just as safe. That isn't to say it's completely safe, but just as safe shopping online or in a store. Now, way back in 1998, the World Trade Organization, they said that by the year 2001, we would be doing $220 billion of e-commerce. Mm -hmm. And according to the statistics, uh, in 19, uh, those, that was for, uh, for the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think the number was when they hit 2001, they were doing about $21 billion. Yeah. What happened there, in your opinion? Consumer fear, I think, mm -hmm. is probably the primary driving force behind that. Um, I think a, a lot of people are, are hesitant um, and are more more afraid. Um, there's, a, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes when it comes to online transactions. And it seems like um, without being able to look someone in the eye when you hand them their credit card, it seems a little scarier, I think. I, I agree, and there's a lot of press out there about um, personal information being lost, and often that information is lost in circumstances that aren't related to the electronic transaction itself, but it's someone's laptop being left on a GO train that has mm. information about credit cards or, or um, security, uh, security information. It's a combination of those, both of those things. Yeah. Well, how many of those stories do we not hear about? Mm. Not many, I suspect. <laughs> big, big ones like that definitely make the news on a fairly regular basis. They, they may not make the evening news, but they're definitely in all the papers and especially trade publications. You hear about them quite regularly. Especially large companies that are well known. Yeah. Exactly. We're going to come back with Karen and Scott. We're going to talk more about e-commerce as Big Brother watching you. Stay with us. There'll be more in business right after the break.